Hi, I'm Dale from Beaver Valley Woodworking. This week's video, I'm going to show you how to build this tapering and straightening jig. I got a sheet of malamine that's 38 inches by 11 and 3 quarters. This is going to be the base for our jig. On my plunge router, I got a template guide with a three quarter inch router router bit straight cut router bit I uh, attached a couple boards on with uh, car lightweight carpet tape this way it will help guide the router straight Now that we got our T-slots installed in the jig, what I did was I ended up making some quick setting epoxy and I epoxy these T-tracks into the dados. reason why I did that is these little 3 8 inch long screws ain't going to do much as far as holding. Not when you have all this clamping pressure getting pulled up on, getting pulled up on those T-tracks. So now we got this part done, on to the fence build. The reason why I put the metal angle on this part of on the new fence, not the old, is one thing I noticed with the old fence is when it's uh, clamped under pressure, this end here bows up, this end over here bows up, and you also have a slight bow in here. So I figured by adding the metal aluminum angle on, angle on here. This way I can eliminate that bow. One of the things I did was I went to the drill press with a three quarter inch uh, Forstner bit. I ended up making uh, recess spots for the bolts. What we're going to do is on, on the fence the toggle clamps are going to be bolted down. Just bolts with a washer going in from the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. Nope. And what I'm going to do is going to put a lock washer on there and a nut. Putting the lock washer on so this way over time it's not going to vibrate loose. So that's how I'm fast, fastening them on. I didn't use uh, carriage bolts because I found out with this uh, mammaline using carriage bolts it's as soon as you tighten it down it's that bolt's just going to spin. It doesn't do nothing to hold that carriage bolt in place. Well, it's pretty simple to build one of these, as you see. And I know what you guys are thinking. Well, Dale, you showed us how to build it, but let's see this bad boy in action. <sighs> okay, you guys talked me into it. Well, I just want to show you. I got this uh, uneven board clamped up in the jig. And I want to show you guys that it's not squared. Got squared up to the bottom. Got a big gap right in here. And the piece right here starts to curve back in. As you see, it was totally uneven. A nice square cut. With this setup now, I'm going to show you how to make tapers. A piece of wood is about the length what you would probably use for a chair leg. 
got tapered. And another thing I did, I ended up bridging this fence, put some spacer blocks in there. This way the toggle clamps can do its job clamping the piece down. As you see here, I was able to make a uh, chair leg just using that jig. One side square, where the other two sides are tapered. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and the brand new BeaverValleyWoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.